Hello, this is not a spring chick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you know you hear about those great studies that they do and you wonder, well, I could have told you that. Well, the latest, the Obama administration commissioned a survey that women prefer men with hot cars. Hmm. I could have told them that. wonder how much you made on that study. That would have been a fun one. Well, for now, I guess we better bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Fernand, he predicts that unemployment will be, what, what is that, lower than it was when George Bush started? That's right, by the middle of the president's next term, by 2013, it will be at about 5.6%. It's an impossibility. <laughs> I mean, they're basically chuckling at this guy. That there is no perceivable inflation, what inflation there is will, um, uh, will vanish entirely during, by the end of this year and unemployment will be tumbling at a rapid rate as the economy starts steamrolling. Mm. Nobody's buying that, folks. But the market is going up on you, you sure? Are you sure about that one? I mean, that could be... I know, but the market mm. loves to hear all those lies, though. Okay. Democrats plan yet another stimulus and higher taxes on business to turn the economy around. They got this weird idea that uh, green jobs, infrastructure, and higher taxes is going to make the economy grow. No. For every, they'll tell you, for every one green job created, you lose three jobs, and uh, you lose three jobs. So therefore, that increases unemployment, plus green energy costs more than any other energy, and our system isn't going to even be able to use it for at least 20 years. Oh. Which means you put all these people out of work in the meantime. And GAO leaks at aging nuke sites difficult to detect. Uh, which means they can't find there's any leaking, but they want Obama wants the nuclear plants all shut down, he wants the coal industry shut down, the fuel industry shut down, and the uh, and water power shut down so they can have green energy. Mm -hmm. Which most of those above I just mentioned are green energy. And misery index hits the highest point since Carter was president, which is why only Obama can fix what Bush and the Republicans have caused. That's what they said last night. I found it unbelievable on the news I, I've never that, heard that Obama index. has caused the problem, but only he has the ability to do it because he had nothing to do with it. George Bush and the Republicans are causing this. Bush is not president, but he's running heavily against Bush, though. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess he figures if it worked for him the first time. Yeah, well, it, did, it, it only worked the first time because nobody wanted John McCain. They're not going to elect somebody in his 70s to the presidency of this nation ever again. I know. And Connecticut readies for another hot Senate race. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hate to tell the news people. It's a Democratic seat in a Democratic state. So guess who's likely to win the, uh, the seat? Mm -hmm. Not a Republican. Medicaid for the middle class. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it seems that uh, Obama is going to get his wish of government-controlled health care because conveniently uh, it was snuck into the thing that everybody that retires early is going to get Medicaid for, going to get Medicare stuff for free. Isn't that amazing? No matter how much money you're making, mm -hmm. you, if you retire early, you get it for free, which means everybody will retire early to get the government to pay for it for free, which means there's not enough people available in the pool to pay for what he's doing, which results in higher cost and lower health care, which they're, they're trying to uh, explain how that one got missed. Mm -hmm. And Obama faces more voter anxiety and less excitement. Well, nobody like Okay. Uh, I mean, they, like they do this bit yesterday, you know, to make him look, you know, they, they all, when a politician gets in trouble, they always go to the holding the baby bit. So they got a crying baby that his wife couldn't get to, you know, his wife basically around children all the time. She couldn't get the child to stop crying. So he takes the baby and the baby on cue stops crying to show that he can take care of the people in our country. Oh, is that what all that was supposed to that, be about? It, it really sucked big time. I mean, that was such a set up. Staged. Okay, we can call him a poser. Yeah, well, they do it. All politicians, Republicans and Democrats, independents, socialists, they all pull the same trick. They go to the babies when they're in trouble. Aww. And, oh, well, Obama likely to cut 10,000 troops from Afghanistan. Actually, they said it's going to be 30,000 by the end of the year. All the surge troops are coming back. He's going to concentrate the military forces in the areas where they have problems, which is the entire country, folks. No, Obama's idea of fighting a war is to fire missiles into the country. Mm -hmm. uh, Obama has fired billions of dollars of missiles into, into 
Libya and hasn't been able to stop change anything so far. And McConnell debt ceiling deal may be for the short term. They're saying they're probably going to just going to give uh, the Democrats what they want, which is basically a debt ceiling rise with no uh, cuts in anything. The cuts, oh, they have agreed on three hundred billion dollars worth of cuts over the next ten years. Mm -hmm. The interest is four hundred billion a year. But they have firmly agreed on three hundred billion dollars in cuts. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> cigarettes will carry a grisly new warning labels. Nobody watches those. Okay, I know nobody that can tell you what's on the label of a cigarette package. They're not going to look at the pictures. I mean, first of all, if you show them to the kids, the kids, oh God, you know, they laugh. They, they laugh and they'll smoke even more. But it, this is this is by people that smoke cigars. People that smoke cigars try to get, and they want marijuana sold by the time. So. Are you serious? Yeah, but that's called smoke, folks. And gay pride marches across the Balkans face hostility. Because only in the United States are the gay people accepted. No, they're not anywhere in this world. Everywhere in the world. So you basically you figure when the United Nations said that we're supporting gay rights, they, and two thirds of the members are Muslim. <laughs> They pissed everybody off when they did that, but that's because Obama needed a favor to get Obama's support for all of this stuff. So they just made the announcement that we support gay rights, which they don't. And Kerry, McCain pushed Libya resolution. Well, this is ridiculous. Congress is not going to give, well, for the next year, they will give him limited authority and he must pull out all the troops. Mm -hmm. No. The uh, House is never going to pass it. The House is, the, he, he's not going to get funding. He's going to be the first president ever to have funding stop. And they can't get, uh, in order to do the, re it's a resolution that would be meaningless in the Senate because uh, they couldn't get it passed if it was a vote on funding or not. There's not 60 people that would vote to fund Obama's war because it's, there's no purpose to it. The guy isn't leaving. Uh, we're killing innocent civilians on a daily basis, and they now admit we have troops on the ground. And the, and the resolution says it will only allow for limited troops to continue to be on the ground. It says to continue to be on the ground. Uh -huh, yeah, that which means they're already on the ground. No, it's a violation of everything Obama said and the resolution that was passed. Everything is a violation. And Greek PM survives confidence vote in the parliament. Really? He, 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 he had uh, 10 votes more than he needed. They said the majority of the people in Greece don't support the program. He has two weeks to, um, to, to get everything done. The majority of the people are demanding now an election. They're going to throw him and everybody out. After he survived the confidence vote? Yeah, after he survived the confidence vote, the people are now demanding an election to remove him and his party. Because the union, it is a socialist country, they do not want to cut back on what they're getting from government freebies. Well, part of it is sometimes there's only so much. They don't care. that uh, These people have been, the Soviet Union is pissed off because we no longer get 10 cent bread and 10 cent sugar. And uh, we have to pay exorbitant fees for our homes now. Mm -hmm. Of course, they didn't have those homes before. And Japanese exports dropped 10.3% in May. Yeah, because uh, they're, they're not, they're, they have no power. You can't produce without power, which nobody's seen. When you shut down all of these power plants around the world, what are you going to replace the power with? Oh. Yeah, you cut, it means you're going to produce less because you have no power. China's solar city rushes to catch a power boom. <laughs> you, can't, you can't walk across the country anymore and see in front of your nose because there's so much pollution. You have to have sunlight for solar power. And what they're planning to do is like go into the Gobi Desert. And how many people are going to want to live in the Gobi Desert? And Michelle Obama aiming to inspire African youth. Well, yeah, that's her trick for trying to go over there as a state visit when it's nothing more than a vacation for her and her friends. But they're going to pick up the vacation part on their own, just like they did the last time. Of course, the security thing and all the other stuff, which cost an ungodly fortune, is still going to be picked up by the United States government. And PIMCO head predicts Greece and others will default. Yeah, the, everybody's there. The, they have not lived up to one, none of the countries have lived up to any of the pledges they've made because they're all ran with socialist governments and the socialist governments are not going to uh, cut back government spending. United and U.S. Airways resolve computer outages. Not really. They just said they dissolve it. That's how they predicted that Obama's going to do. Obama's going to predict that 
the uh, inflation is non-existent, and that he's going to predict that the people are hiring, and that he will, as you already heard this morning, they're predicting 5.6% uh, unemployment by the middle of his next term. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like when has that ever been? Mm -hmm. And then we did how they calculate unemployment Multiple figures. Multiple Rolls Royces just drove by us. Oh, really? Uh, uh, you know, about a half a dozen Rolls Royces just drove by. Oh. Somebody important went, didn't want to go down one of these trees. I know, and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, this one. I, I have a tendency to forget between second and second because I'm old, but the, I like this one instead. That just because somebody says something is the way it is doesn't actually mean it's the way it is, especially when you can't pay for a loaf of bread and they tell you the loaf of bread has no inflation to it. Mm.